Hey everybody, this is Arathus, and welcome back to Bloodstained and the Adventures of the Girl with the Magical Tattoo. Tattitty? I don't know. Regardless, the lady with the tattoo on her breast is. This. <laughs> and I, I know I am making fun of that a lot, but hey, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, the placement of the tattoos, you know, and then all the text, like all the menu, all the little dialogue boxes popping up where she's doing everything she can to frame her hands in a way that draws attention to it. Yeah, yeah. And to be fair, it, I would do the same thing. I would mock the ridiculousness of it all, even if like the protagonist in this were a dude running around in a banana hammock constantly gesturing at his crotch. Hey guys, enjoy the magic. Head flail, attack by using Dullahammer's head as a flail. Now, also, don't let my mocking of the <laughs> ridiculous main character's, well, the main character's ridiculous outfit throw you off. I really am enjoying this game. It looks gorgeous, and the gameplay is fun. I just can't take characters seriously when they're, when this kind of fan service stuff is focused on. So yes, as far as I'm concerned, she's the girl with the magical tattoo at this point. Hey, dude. You're useless you still, right? Careful. Yeah, you're useless still. Arventville. Let me just decapitate this dude. Don't even give him a chance to fight. Wow. Ow, what the? Ah, we going real old school. I can't attack up. Okay. These dudes are all quite a bit stronger than what I'm used to fighting. On the ship. We in the real game now. I say, and anybody who's finished this game is like, nope, nope, it gets harder. Who are you? Do you have a magical tattoo as well? I wouldn't be surprised. Thank you, Miriam. Do, do I know you, lady? You know who I am. And that means... I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominique. You want to explain who Dominique is? So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. As you can see, I know a thing or two about expelling demons. An exorcist. And we're lucky to have you, Dominique. That looks like an interesting outfit for a church operative. And the church you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. You wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important, but you should tell us why you need her. Miriam isn't one to shy away from danger, but she deserves to be armed with all the facts. Yes, very well. I told you when I contacted you that the Shardbinder Jebel is responsible for summoning the castle. How you summon a castle? Is the castle sentient? Yes, there's no mistake about that. He admitted as much. What? You spoke to him? Worried I'll find out you're the bad guy? You shady mother... F then let me get right to the point. I find it curious that the outpouring of demons facilitated by one Shardbinder just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other Shardbinder after exactly ten years. There is oddly missing snippets of text. You're right, it is strange. But the church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is odd. Oh, do you decide for her then? <laughs> I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village and make an informed choice. I mean, if I'm honest, I don't trust either of you. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. Although I do like you a little bit more after that phrase. You don't have to. I gave Jeebel my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. Thank you, Miriam. 
I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. No, you're not. Um, pardon me. Who are you now? Oh, hello there. Are you all right? We didn't mean to ignore you. I mean, honestly, I completely forgot she was there. I'm all right, thank you. You are quite welcome. Do you have a name? Anne. What a lovely name. Anne, you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe. Is she a demon? Oh, all right. Come oh, on. she is really chipper. I think she a demon. She is way too calm for the situation. Yeah, I know I am basically just, you know, calling out, uh, what's his name? Johannes. But, I don't, I don't trust him considering, one, something is clearly up with Jeebel's head. Like, he, his memory seems to have been messed with. Also, Johannes was one of the alchemists. But when he was talking about him, it's like, I'm sorry for what my brothers did to you. Not former brothers. So, yeah. I don't know. I may be reading too much into it, but he seems like... A, he seems shady. I did some looking around before, and this place seems secure. Does it? Because we just walked right up in here. Yes, agreed. Johannes, you, Anne, and I will remain here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. Or you know you guys could help. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone? Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. Are you? We would only get in the way. But that's not the point. You could at least try. I'll be fine, Johannes. Please don't worry. <sighs> All right, but we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Thank you, Johannes. I know you're strong, but be careful. I don't trust you, creepy little girl. <laughs> I will. Let me just be honest. I don't trust children in any video game. I didn't trust them in Plague Tale. Although, I liked that kid. But still, I don't trust kids in any video game. Or movies, for that matter. Maybe I just don't trust kids. <laughs> wow, you got this crap set up fast. Miriam, welcome. Welcome to what? Since this is your first time here, let me tell you a little bit about the supply post. Okay. Uh, please. I have made arrangements so you can buy and sell items here. I would have liked to provide what you need for free, but seeing as we are largely cut off from the church's funds out here... Who's delivering your inventory? I will need money in order to keep the supply post stocked. I hope you don't mind paying. No, I understand. I appreciate you doing what you can. I can also buy shards from you if you no longer need them. Wait, is trade in demon shards even allowed? Of course. The church would sooner gather them up and make certain they are purified. Bull. The church is using them. I am not permitted to sell them, but I can buy them off you. You may want to keep extras, since possessing multiple shards of the same type amplifies its power. But there is a limit to how far that can go. All right, I ain't never going to sell any of them now that you tell me that. And more importantly, if you carry a large number of shards, your body's corruption... Should I care about corruption, though? ...may accelerate. But I'll find a way to deal with that myself. I still recommend selling your shards as a means of making money. All right. I know you're looking out for me. Is she, though? I think that explains everything. Now, would you like to have a look around? Weapons? What are you looking to buy? Oh, good lord. What the... Okay, you do have weapons, thankfully. Ooh, I want a long... Ooh, I like the sound of a mace, though. Ooh, a spear. I like spears. Muskets. Ah, 
so if I buy a gun, I need to buy ammo. Okay. Country dress. Do these things actually change her appearance? I mean, it might. Okay. Uh, we don't really have much to sell. Like, is there a reason to... Like, is there a cooking feature in this game? Because there's a lot of food. I think so. All right. I think I want a spear. Is this right? Yep. Plenty thanks. Oh, I forgot to give this to you. It's the key to the building. You can use it to explore further in. How big is this building? Thank you. I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. They all have troubles that need resolving. Oh, quest. If you can spare them the time, I'll do what I can. I know you will. Come back anytime. I'll be praying for you. Now, I gotta say, I was doing some more research into the game, and I'm very curious to see the other characters. Because I do like how Miriam plays and fights. And I know that there is a already one DLC character. I think I have. Uh, the Samurai. I discussed it in the last episode. But apparently there's two more coming. And I'm very curious. Oh, I still owe you my life. You got money? Oh, I Again, you got money? <laughs> yeah, I like the spears. Dominique, what is all this machinery? That is photographic equipment we've been working on. Photographic? To put it more plainly, it allows me to capture images of real life, landscapes, people. What? Really? Uh, can I try it? Oh, I swear to God, if this lets me put her into outfits and dress her up like some Japanese games, I'm a... Unfortunately, okay. I don't have the silver bromide <laughs> I need. I'll see if I can find it. Be right back. Because, yeah, I could see it doing that. Watch. I don't have the silver bromide, but I sell it. What are you looking to I think buy? that'd be hilarious. Okay. Thank you. Alright, let's go see what Johannes is doing and then let's go kill some stuff. Hey dude. Ah, uh, here she is. You have to marvel at the church's resources. Look at what they've provided for us. They are shockingly well prepared, aren't they? I know, it's incredible. So, what I can do for you here in the workshop is take materials you bring me and transmute them into new items. But the alchemy is easier to show you than explain. Here, I have some materials we can use. So let's try transmuting them. Sure. What are we transmuting this time? Craft? Oh. All right, so we already crafted. Well, I just straight up bought a... Um, a spear. Yeah, I don't care about the weapons. Let's look up here. Maybe some better armor? Apparently, I'm essentially wearing that. Let's do a well-rounded one. I'll go with this. Yeah, tra transmute. Ooh, I like it. That was creepy, Johannes. Wait, what was bat wings? A scarf that resembles bat wings. I'll go with this. I'll try it. There, all done. Sure. I'll go with this. Enhance that shard. Ooh, I like it. I'll go with this. I'll enhance all my shards. I'll go with this. This dude ain't charging me for this. I'll go with this. Uh, 
Once I've transmuted an item, I'll pass it on to Dominique so she can right. carry it at the supply post for I'll do my best to inform you of what items you can make from what materials. But when it comes to items I don't know about, you'll have to find a formula for me and bring it here. I understand. Also, the demon crystal you've obtained, the shards, those each I know. shard requires specific materials. But it's worth it to me. Try it when you get the chance. I think. Also, neither one of us has been eating well. Okay, now comes the cooking. No wonder, considering the struggle we've been through to survive. If you bring me the ingredients, I can use alchemy to prepare meals for us. With proper nutrition and a varied diet, you have the potential to get much stronger. Eating a new food for the first time will provide Miriam with a stat boost. Hi, Miriam. So, what'll it be? Can we make any food? Nope. Johannes, can you tell me more about what happened ten years ago? It started when the interests of the rich shifted away from the spiritual and esoteric in favor of more material investments. The alchemists' research was expensive. The guild members didn't want to lose their wealthy patrons, so they warned again and again that demons would come if people let go of their spirituality. But people don't change that easily. So the alchemists took a more drastic measure. <coughs> you mean us? The Shardbinders? Yes. It shames me that I was even connected to what they did. But at least you have the facts of it. Kinda. It's all right. Thank you for telling me. All right. Yeah, so nothing really changes. Cool. Scarf does. Okay, good. So I don't think we're going to end up playing dress up. Yeah, let's play with the spear. Thrashing Tentacle or Dullahan. Oh, damn. Give me that. Oh, hi. Who are you? You there. It was awful. Those monsters came out of nowhere. We ran for dear life. Where are the others? Dead, most of them. My dear husband included. <sighs> Those devils have to pay. Those murderers. You look strong, miss. I'm begging you. Help me. If it's within my power. Oh, thank you. My name's Lindsay. What's yours? Miriam. Well, Miriam, I'll gather whatever information I can about the monsters that wronged us. I want you to hunt down the monsters and take vengeance on them. The efforts won't go unrewarded, I promise you that. What could you possibly right. give me? I'll do it. Although apparently you have clothing that covers a lot more than what I'm currently what wearing. Turned up on the monsters. Five morts. Help my husband rest in peace. Kill that murderer dead! Calm your tits. Nice. Okay. Not so sure about that spear. It works for now, though. Oh, it's a map. Is it? Oh, is it like a teleporter? Damn bat. Okay, so currently, magic is far more effective. Okay, I can't break that. Uh-uh. Okay. I see you trying to sneak by me. 
Oh, okay. It's like, what? What happened? Gimme. Yeah, magic definitely seems like the much more effective option. What's up here? Nothing. Alright, well we did that. <laughs> we got some more demons to kill. Fine, I'll go over the top. Make shortcuts, okay. HP rounds. Do I get a healing gun? I cannot jump that high, apparently. How do you feel about that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not... Not a huge fan... Of the, um... Attack arc on this weapon. I love the range. Yeah, it looks like I should be able to go through. All right, we're going to go back to Johannes and see what's farther down. I'm going to go nuts exploring this place. I suppose I already killed five. Got any targets? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. No, I only killed two. I wonder which one the morts are. Do I have enough money to buy a mace? I do want to keep experimenting with the weapons. Now oh, there's an old I lady here. New to offer you. What are you looking to buy? Oh yeah, I can't afford any weapons. What are you looking to sell? Unless I want to sell. Uh, those aren't going to get me anything. Thank you. <sighs> I'd rather kill over and die than spend another moment in a living hell like this one. Ain't nobody stopping you, lady. Oh, don't say that. Never you mind me, young lady. What's your name? I'm Susie. Miriam. Is there anything I can do to help? Well... I do enjoy a I good do meal. Enjoy a good okay. meal, but I can't remember the names of the dishes I like. Man, now I gotta cook for this old lady. I'll help you figure it out. I promise. Bring Susie a portable snack, and she'll give me a <gasps> thorn whip. Ah. Yeah. Hey, dude, do you mind cooking for this old lady? It's good to see you. What are we transmuting this time? Yeah, we're not... So, uh, about the castle. It may not be much help, but let me tell you what I know. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? The castle itself was summoned from hell. Demons and all. But the site of Dracula in there. is where the Alchemist's Guild once lay. So you may find traces of our facilities intermingled with the rest. Now that you mention it, I do remember seeing an area dedicated to the study of Eastern mysticism. Yes. And another of us was researching how to create giant organisms. Mm. Anyway, just be mindful of the facility's existence. The knowledge may keep you out of harm's way while you explore. Cool. All right. Thank you. Off to murder. I figure now that the tutorial stuff is out of the way, uh, that the game is going to start progressing much, much faster. Because there's a lot of dialogue and exposition and here's how you do this and here's how you do this. So I anticipate the game picking up from here on out. However, for now, I am all out of time. So thank you everybody so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suit you today. And also, if you want to get notified when new videos go up, then go ahead and click on the notification bell, as that seems to be the only way that YouTube feels like um, letting you know when a new video is up. And with that, Thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for the further adventures of Miriam, the girl with the magical tattoo.